Kenji asks, this is, I have one Microsoft account which has two team settings. Looks like one is a new free account I added from the Office portal. The other is a Teams free edition I created last year right after the COVID pandemic started. This one is using the free AAD instance with my Azure subscription. The newer one is recognized as a personal account and the other one tied to my AAD account as organizational account. Is there a way to merge these two? I would like these two to be merged and keep the organizational one tied to my Azure subscription and remove the newer personal one. So I have a horror story on this one. This is eight months of my life of frustration. And it came when Office 365 first was rolled out and I subscribed. I, I used my Hotmail account to create a Office 365 which, account. Which so many of us have done. Yeah, exactly. Yes. And then the, the company I was working for at the time, also I was working um, client facing. So I wanted to make sure that I could share files with them. So I created an online account using that email address. And then I kept getting every time I'd log in, you want to use the work or the personal or the work or the personal. And it was like really frustrating. It's like, I don't need the personal version. I just want the work version. But um, so I changed the password to make sure that it was the right account. I deleted the personal version. And then what happened was in the Azure AD, it deleted my role as the member of the AD um, domain. And so then I couldn't log in anything anymore that had to do with that account. It was a complete nightmare. And after eight months of going back and forth, trying to get Microsoft support to help me, they, um, I, me, the waffle woman, right? I'm all about the waffle. I figured out the script that you have to use in, um, in PowerShell to, re to put the um, member type or the user type back in Azure AD and shared it with the organization that I work for. And I felt like calling all those help desk guys at Microsoft to say, I fix this. This I can't be the first one. Like you said, I can't be the first one that did this. Right. And I'm, I'm not a scripter. And I, and I was like, that was my first win ever being able to use PowerShell. <laughs> so but hopefully Sherry, let me ask did, they, did you go and did you blog about it? Did you post your solution out on tech community, out on Reddit, you know, subreddit conversations around this? Because uh, I bet you there are dozens of locations out there on the webs where people have had that issue and where they're not getting any help. Like most of the time when I go and I'm searching for something very specific and especially things around Azure AD and other problems that I've had with multi-tenant issues and, and things and, and all the different profiles. Like I've got uh, stories I can tell there as well where all it's i find plenty of links of people asking the question and no answers posted so yeah. i always encourage people when you find a solution like please go post that solution around to all those locations take a few minutes to go share the joy spread the love <laughs> you, you I can have to Christian make this all happen before what's that so, sorry sure i said you can tell christian's current role is heavy on the marketing side <laughs> exactly <laughs> well um, I have to admit, this was before I got involved in the community and I was kind of the lone wolf out there. I probably would have tapped into my community had I known and um, that I did post it somewhere, but I can't remember now. And I was looking for that script. I did put a link in the um, spreadsheet with, with for you know, how to update the Azure AD and its user type is the one. But so the person that's asking about this, if you delete the personal, you could mess up the one that's tied to Azure because what I found out there's two separate, even though it's a Microsoft account because it's tied to Office 365, it's it's a separate data repository, you know, to keep it simple, of the usernames and passwords than the one that you use. Microsoft personal ones have a separate one, but somehow it deleted the wrong, it deleted both of them. And yeah, and I, I'm they're like, well, go in, you're the administrator. I'm like, I know, but I know nothing about Azure AD. I had no clue what Active Directory, I know enough to be dangerous, how to change profiles. But mm. that when I went in there and looked and it said that the, like the, the user type was blank, I'm like, oh, okay, there's something about this. And I probably, like I said, eight months of my life, I can't get back because of this. So, so yeah. We and I feel for you, Sherry, because I've been through something similar. Not that it's hor 
horrific, but yeah, yeah the, the personal versus work account thing is a nightmare. What is interesting to me about this question is not only are we talking, is the question about what, how do I deal with these two identities? The very end of the question is, I would like these two to be merged. And there's one straightforward answer I can provide to part of that. We've talked about the identity side. We have not talked about the data side. Mm -hmm. If you have chats and conversations and meetings and any of that other stuff in Teams that exists in both of them, the answer to can that data be merged out of the box? No. Mm -hmm. With a third party mm -hmm. tool, which there are plenty of them available, kind of, somewhat, maybe iffy gray area. Um, I, I'm not aware of any that will merge. The, the well, solution I mean, to most of those is that you can archive in those assets and still make them available and secure those, but not merge that I'm aware of. Somebody I mean, could, like, my my right. items could be, could be uh, carbon copied to the, the other account and things like that. But yeah, yeah that's one thing I want to make clear is if you, if you figure out the identity nightmare here, like Sherry did, um, the content piece is just going to be he, a loss. In the same in the same aspect, though, you have to take this to a higher a higher elevation because um, when you're dealing, I'm going to say take it to a higher power. You know, no, you say pray yeah. about this, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, it's more about you know those accounts are tied to not just teams. They're kind of tied to everything that you do inside of M365 and uh, even on-prem. So it's it's if you're not just merging team data, you're merging, you would want to, if you were merging, you'd be merging everything. Mm -hmm. And I think that, and this is, this is going to be a knock on Microsoft. I think Microsoft has made this very difficult uh, for people because, I mean, we were talking about this as MVP six years ago saying, hey, I've got these 20 different accounts that I have, um, you know, and uh, five different tenants, and I can't, I can't get the two to merge. I mean, I, I have, you know, I can't, I can't just use one account. Now we even have the problem now where we're joining uh, our summit sessions. We have to have that specific account uh, to join the summit session. We can't use the other fifteen that we have. Um, it's got to be that one, and it's got to be uh, a work or school account, right? So now they've come out and I uh, get an icon on my desktop now for Teams that says Microsoft Teams work or school account. And then I've got a separate Microsoft Teams icon. So why confuse everyone even more? <laughs> um, it, it's the same thing when you go up and into the, into the actual Teams interface and you wanna select a, you know, a organization. Again, you can only have one personal account, which is you know, that one home account, not a work or school account. Um, I, I just think that the messages that Microsoft has delivered over the years around this complex issue um, have been very vague and, and not very well done. Um, and it, it's still confusing to this day. Well, they call it a Microsoft account. Well, isn't Office 365 a Microsoft account? It is, but it's not like the Microsoft personal account, which used to be like your live you ID. You can't sign into your right? Xbox using your yeah. Xbox account. Right. And now they fix it. You can't use a worker school account to create a live, live ID for lack of, well, because they the like problems, to use the same terminology for everything. Right. But, and one of the problems yeah. that people had is that they would set up in a, a domain that'd be a, a vanity domain, okay? Their own personal domain. And then they'd actually want to make it into a Microsoft account. Well, Microsoft says, no, 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 you can't do that because we, you know, we don't know anything about that domain. So you can't use that domain unless you add it to M360 Azure Active Directory as a verified domain. But you may be getting your mail in like Google, you know, uh, in Gmail or Google Apps. Well, you can't use that anymore. You, in order to do it and use that account, you have to move everything over to M365, which I, I don't, I, I mean, to me that you're, you're just making something that could be so much simpler. You're making it incredibly harder for people. I mean, yeah. you're literally describing my MVP experience. <laughs> my my personal you. domain account is what I use to submit my application. 
but when they accepted me, it's now an Active Directory domain account that uses the same username, but I have to just like every time I log in, I have to decide, am I logging in with my personal account or my work account? And I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah. Sorry. I, I went to, uh, this just happened. I, I don't know where it's drawing this from, but uh, like I just went to, uh, to, to logged out, was logging in uh, and it found a company that I worked for last time I worked for them was in 2014. I've had that happen. And, yet it, and found the login. I'm like, I don't know how, where it found that. Uh, and, but that was one of the options. And I'm like, nope, other had to go and reroute it. It's, uh, yeah. So there are, I won't say the word problems. There are opportunities. <laughs> for partners oh, yeah. Create solutions. There's spoken a little like bit a, of credit. Spoken like a pure marketer. Here's a little <laughs> bit of credit to give. I mean, I remember when, um, for a little deep IT world here, the Volume Licensing Center, you had to have a personal account to get into the Volume Licensing Center to get your uh, your keys. Even though it was taught, the Volume Licensing Center is purely an organizational thing. Like that was a nightmare that it took them us years to fix. Um, <laughs> I like how for a second it was them. <laughs> yeah. um, I still have my Hotmail account and I, it's tied to my Microsoft everything because that was my, you know, for my MCT and everything like that. I, I want to get rid of that Hotmail account I want because it's just spam central anymore. I get 200 spam emails a day in there and I don't know why the filter can't be better. And it, trying to change your Microsoft ID to a different email i just want to use my outlook one that i have it's a terrible is experience impossible terrible. yeah impossible even talking to even talking to support directly to support you know even at summit i remember we had a bunch of folks that were directly tied to education because i have a problem with my you know my mcp at the time with you know and all my certifications and stuff and i needed to get two counts merged um and max you may have some insight into this but at the time, they were just like, yeah, we really, we can't do anything about that. You're going to have to have two separate accounts. And I'm like, really? Really? Yeah. <laughs>